welcome to Vive Talk. Today we are talking about VR transitioning from immersion to present. VR has entered a new era, transitioning from immersion to present. The most lauded aspect of VR is its immersion. Since the transition of computer games from 2D to 3D, game developers have been dissatisfied with flat display screens, as it isn't the ultimate user interface. The 2D display, the joystick that controls the up, down, left, and right arrows, and the keyboard design for productivity all limit our freedom in the 3D world and the potential for more innovative gameplay. As a result, Valve, the company behind Steam, collaborated with HTC to create the VR headset vibe to allow gamers to become more immersed in the 3D world. Many people still refer to VR headsets as head-mounted displays. Game developers tell us, this is the future of gaming. We can create a more appealing world than reality. If you put on this thing called Vive, you can enter human imagination. However, I believe 2021 will usher in a new VR paradigm transformation, a new era of transition from immersion to present. I can't attribute all the causes of this change, but I am certain of one thing. COVID-19 has accelerated it. Many people talk about VR in terms other than gaming. Although modern VR originated in games, its applications far outweigh those of games. The pandemic has brought the world to a halt, and many physical activities have shifted online, as has the demand for meetings, which has also shifted to Zoom and Teams. However, if you look closely, you will notice that the digital boundary includes virtual reality. During this time, HTC released Vive Sync, which allows people to hold meetings and collaborate remotely in VR. You might wonder, why not use Zoom in VR? In some ways, it's already here, in Vive Sync. This appears to be a perfect corollary for the pandemic's collision with VR. The term immersion has been changed to presence. VR isn't just for immersing you, it's also for you to be present. Different dimensions, across space to meet the needs of human connection. The focus is no longer on your experiencing it, but on making you feel as if your colleagues, friends, or family are also present as of around you. Eye tracking and face tracking are the next step. If you want to use virtual reality to socialize, you must have sensors to capture your expressions so that your virtual avatar can communicate face to face in VR. Vive has set the industry standard for trackers and now also has a facial tracker that monitors movement of the lower face for a more realistic avatar experience. Full body tracking, eye tracking, and expression generation are all possible with the Vive Pro Eye headset. When the pandemic disrupted the world's activities, VR and our devices such as HTC Vive displayed very similar applications, indicating that immersion was shifting to a paradigm of present. You may wonder what the distinction is between the pursuit of immersion and the pursuit of presence. These are the completely different roads and to completely different VR vision. In terms of hardware, immersion is gained with higher resolutions, wider fields of view, and faster refresh rates. It demands more powerful game engines and more realistic image and sound processing. These, I believe, are easily imaginable by everyone. These expressions are detectable using the Vive Expression Detection Kit. The question of presence is, can your avatar represent you and can it represent the people with whom you meet? collaborate, communicate, and socialize. The avatar's resemblance to you is important, but conveying those nonverbal communication messages accurately is even more critical. In everyday life, the amount of information conveyed by nonverbal communication far exceeds the capacity of language. For example, the distance between you and your colleague when you speak reveals the extent of your friendship. And when you look at a person in a nightclub, you use your eyes to tell you whether you should or shouldn't follow up. From facial expressions and eyes to body movements, these unspoken tacit understandings are all essential components of everyday communication. This cannot be achieved by creating an emoji function. Yes, the future of virtual reality isn't just immersion, but the arrival of a new era of presence.